Hi hey YouTube, this is Mark from the Volunteer Agrarian. I just came from the grocery store and I wanted to uh, talk about my experience. I went to pick up a few things and one of those items I needed was tuna fish. I eat a lot of canned tuna fish and so does the rest of my family. We just like it. But, as you probably also have gathered, we don't like to eat uh, adulterated foods. So, I'm a big reader of labels. And in reading, uh, reading all of the tuna fish brands that were available at my local grocery store, come to find out you cannot buy tuna fish without soy in it. And that soy comes in the form of vegetable broth. Well, I eat a lot of vegetable soup too. Never once have I put soy in it. But long story short, I was eventually able to find uh, tuna fish without soy in it. But just be aware of what you're eating. If you are conscious of what you put into your body, um, soybeans uh, have been estimated at 95% of the soybean crop is uh, grown from genetically modified soybeans and treated with the associated products, uh, glyphosate um, being the number one uh, chemical that go, uh, pesticide or herbicide that goes with um, soybeans both to desiccate them when it's time to harvest and to uh, control weeds. So, the uh, if you're trying to not eat glyphosate or, or GMO crops, then you definitely do not want to be eating soy in your tuna fish. Um, there are some exceptions. There are some organically grown soybeans, but genetic drift has become such a such an issue. I, I would say it likely that there are very few sources of soy in the U.S. that are not uh, genetically modified, whether intentionally or unintentionally. So read those labels and uh, make sure that you know what you're eating.